Welcome. This is a video for the 2015 Winnebago Itasca Sunstar that my family is selling. This is a Class A motorhome. It is made by Winnebago, as you can see from the badging, uh, but it goes under the name Itasca, and then the, the model is, is Sunstar. It is 31 feet long from tip to tail. It is 12 feet, three inches tall. It is a class A motorhome, which means you have a ton of storage, which is one of the things we really loved about it. And one of the reasons we liked it so much. It is a Ford chassis with a V10 Triton engine. You get about 10 miles to the gallon on it. It's fully self-contained as all motorhomes are, but the storage is one of the things uh, we love. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that uh, before we move on. So starting off with some of the storage in the back, you can see you've got a very large storage container underneath the very back end that sits underneath the bed in the back. It's got two compartments, one from the back and one from the passenger side. And then you've got the storage along uh, the underneath on the passenger side as well. We use one to house our outdoor kitchen. So that is a 22 inch Blackstone griddle and all its supporting pieces, all self-contained. And then you've got two forward bays on each side as well. And this storage goes all the way through, although it's not very tall on the portion that goes all the way through. But it's plenty big to store all of your gear. I keep all my tools on one side, exterior lighting, uh, ladders, chairs inside uh, with no problem. There is exterior power hookup here, you can see. That runs off the 120 volt system feeds off the generator or when your power then you've got a pass through uh, for weather protection if you want to run anything on the outside uh, the steps can either stay out like this or they obviously there's powered steps so they'll retract and they'll go back in and then you've got a 15 foot powered awning and that awning was just replaced recently by the the previous owner we'll walk around quickly to the other side and then we'll go ahead and go inside the unit. Again, Ford V10 Triton engine. You can see on this side, it's got one powered slide. That slide encompasses a couch and a U-shaped dinette inside. And then on this side, uh, starting just below the driver's side window is your propane. Uh, that's what this bottom one is. Uh, your propane's in here. This is your fuse box and then the the mirroring compartments from the other side that we already looked at. And then in the back here, uh, just below the bed, you've got access to your, your systems. So there's your power. There's an exterior cable input, fresh water input, as well as the, the dumps for your black and your gray tank, along with its, its hoses. And then it does have its onboard generator system, a Cummins Onan 4000. Uh, which will power everything uh, if you're not hooked up to, to city power. And then moving around to the back, uh, you can see the, the stories that we saw from the other side, as well as up top, it has its own backup camera that's connected to the driver's side inside. So again, 31 feet long, 12 feet tall, uh, right at uh, eight feet wide, I think something like that, but a really nice unit. So let's, let's go ahead and go inside. Right, once you open it, as soon as you come inside, you'll see that the door only hinges halfway open and that's where it stays. It's got a uh, hydraulic arm there that protects it. Immediately inside, you've got your batteries contained right inside so you can do easy maintenance on your batteries. And then if we just pivot in inside right here, you'll start to see some of your panning. There's your power support for your power awning in and out. Uh, there's your, your coach battery disconnect for when you're putting it into storage as well as your stair lock. So right now it's set to off, but if I flip up here and turn it to on, you'll notice the stairs automatically go in as soon as the door shuts and they go down and then they always come back out when you open the door and they automatically go in. Also, if you turn the engine on, it automatically do that. We're gonna go ahead and turn it back to off so that they'll stay out at all times. All right, well, come on in. Let's go inside and look around. All right, let's start in the front of the motorhome. All right, so again, this is a Class A, so it's got the uh, big windscreen up front, easy to see out of, really great visibility, really easy to tell your front uh, 
and sides are because you sit right up there in the front and obviously it's got really good safety features. Uh, there's the Ford and we already talked about that being built on the Ford V10 uh, Triton engine and a Ford chassis. Uh, right now it's got 11,500 miles on it. Moving over to the center, you've got your display that also will do your radio or show you your rear view camera. It is connectable to your phone. It's got an exterior cord here. You can plug it into a, a phone off of a straight uh, USB device and then it'll run. Or you can flip it over and run it off the batteries if you want to, if you just want to play your sound system all the time. Uh, one of the features that my wife loved was this desk. So as she's going down the road, she can, she can work. It flips open and uh, going down the road, she can, she can work. You do have some access to the 12 volt system up front and you can see we keep a small inverter so she can plug a computer in going down the road. Uh, good cup holders and stuff, making it very comfortable to drive. You got one on the passenger side, one again on the driver's side and then two down low. And then in addition, not shown but available and it's in the back, is there's a in input for a table leg and a small table that can go between it. Both of these chairs slide front and back as well as rotate. So if you see these small handles here, you grab them and uh, you can rotate the chair around so that you can sit backwards. We've only rotated it part of the way around here, but it does rotate all the way around so you can sit and view your, your company as well. Uh, up front, you also have the curtains that, that slide around uh, so that you can um, have some privacy. As far as other things, this is a power slide bed. So right here is your power slide. So that's your directions. It has a safety hook. I just took, took it off. And then you'll see that the bed will slide down, giving you access to the, the rest of your bed, as well as hookups for your ladder um, that is uh, stored up top right there. And we'll go ahead and put the, the bed back up. So you can see I just push the button and the bed goes automatically back up where it's stored. And then you can click its safety in the feature right into, right into place. I have to take it all the way up. And we store our boys uh, linens up there so that they're easy, easy to get to. All right, let's go through uh, the rest of the unit. Um, we do have some power. I should have turned these on. As you come inside, you've got uh, exterior lights and you have interior lights as well, but that's one of the interior lights. All right, looking back through the cabin of the motorhome, Starting on the left-hand side, you've got a good-sized kitchen with great storage. You've got a full cabinet up top, full cabinets over the, the sink, as well as storage over the microwave. Uh, you've got lights all the way through, so you can turn on all these lights, no problem. And then storage. Right now, we've got it hooked up with a small entertainment system with a DVD player, and it feeds to this uh, nice this TV that sits uh, centrally located in the unit for ease. And then moving backwards, uh, it does have a microwave. So the microwave only works if it's either plugged in or if it's running off of the generator, uh, which is accessed from this panel right here. So right now we can look up and you can see, we'll just go ahead and fire it up. We'll see how many hours it has on it. Right now it's got 190.4 hours. All right, so you hear the generator start up and then right now you start to see some of the other features come online. So the microwave is powered up. It's a decent sized microwave, so it's easy to cook in there. And you know, we keep some of our hot pads and things just for ease so they don't bounce around going down the road. It also comes with a three burner stove and a small oven uh, right below it. And then for pots and pan storage, it's got storage underneath it. This is where we keep our uh, nesting pots and pans, as well as a kettle and some of our dishwashing stuff. And then underneath it, you've got some more storage. Uh, we keep trash can and some of our cleaning supplies underneath here so really easy to get to so there's just storage everywhere in this unit which is again wonderful and then over here uh, another full-size cabinet and this is where we organize our boys activities notebooks toys legos uh, everything that they need to keep themselves entertained going down the road all right uh, flipping over here and looking at the right side we'll work our way back it does have a couch uh, this couch is turns into a bed sleeps too and then it's got the U-shaped dinette as well. This U-shaped dinette, uh, it turns also into a bed. So you, can, you remove the cushions. And then if you look down underneath here, you'll see uh, the beginnings of the lip. That's where the table sits. And it's uh, easy to turn this into a bed and the legs just pull out. And that's how you make it into a bed. Uh, lights again, all throughout the unit. So let's go ahead and turn some of these on. You can just 
all by hand. Uh, there's only the one off of a switch, but there's lights everywhere. Uh, lots of regular light coming in through the large windows as well, so it's easy to see. And all the windows in the unit, if you reach under here, they all pull down and they have their, their blinds, which just retract up. Makes it easy to have very pro your, get your privacy. And or you can pull those back up and just let the, let the natural light back in. Uh, one other feature not noted here, uh, on, there's storage under the bench. So if you lift up the cushions and then you see there's a little toe hole here, uh, all of these lift up and there's storage underneath all of these benches. So it's again, tons more storage. Uh, working our way back, uh, we'll just take a look at the, the refrigerator here. Uh, so this is a uh, refrigerator. It's a dual power system. So it runs off either electric or it runs off of your propane. So going down the road, it'll run off propane, excuse me, propane, or when you're plugged in, it'll run off electric. It's got two features, either auto or just the gas. So we, we run it almost always in the auto and uh, has no problem keeping temperatures. And then you've got some more storage above it, which we are not even using because there's so much uh, storage elsewhere. Uh, but a nice, uh, nice, nice refrigerator. Um, we keep medication in it and it has no problem maintaining the temperatures that we need it to. Going down the road, one slide. So your slide right now is in. Um, and this whole piece from here forward slides out, giving you an additional uh, about two, two and a half feet. Uh, in order to take the slide out, you have to turn the unit on, which right now we have it uh, turned off. It runs off the power of the, the engine to take that slide in and out. All right, moving to the back. This gets into your bedroom and bathroom. So let's start on the left-hand side or the passenger side of the unit. You have a, a shower. So it's a actual shower door, not a curtain. It's got a safety latch here to rotate either to lock as you're going down the road or you rotate it to off so you can open the door. It's a decent sized shower. Uh, and then it's got a little skylight up top. So it lets a little more, if you're a little taller, you can go ahead and stand up in there, but it's comfortable to shower in. Hot and cold water, obviously, no problem. It runs off of a six gallon hot water tank on the outside that's fueled off of your propane. Uh, moving aside to the bathroom, uh, you've got lights built in, and then a uh, powered fan, light, mirror. You've got a little uh, medicine cabinet here that we keep uh, keep everything keep everything in going down the road. And then you've got storage underneath as well. So again, every time you turn around, there's some more storage. All right, moving to the back, let's go ahead and shut off the generator so that we don't have to listen to it. So right now there's 190 hours on that, that generator. All right, let's do a look. You've got a full-size queen bed in the back with, again, storage, storage everywhere. And that is one of the themes of this unit. So you've got storage on both the passenger side or the left side as you look at the bedroom or the driver's side. Um, you've got hanging space on, on this side and the same on the other. You've got two cabinets above, uh, very deep. If you can get an idea of like how much space is in there. It goes all the way across the back of the unit. And then you got more storage over here on the other side of the bed for more hanging garments. So tons of hanger space, as well as we've just got some drawers in there for organization. And then on the other side in front, another closet, more hanging space, more storage space, and then a drawer underneath. And then lastly, uh, if you lift up the bed, again, the full-size queen bed, there's storage underneath the bed. So there's just a ton of places to keep things. Good lighting throughout. You've got a light in the back, a light up top, smoke detectors in both the rear and up front throughout the unit. So nice, safe unit, uh, tons of storage, uh, very comfortable, one power slide. Sleep seven, so just as a reminder, so you. The seven comes from two in the back. Two can sleep on the dinette, U-shaped dinette that turns into a bed for four. Two more on the couch for six. And then the powered twin bed up front makes seven. Again, um, all the comforts of home on the road uh, packed into a very compact size, 31 feet, 31 KE Itasca Sunstar. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions and we hope you found this video informative.